the sadness from wherever you've been. Come broken hearted, let rescue begin. Come find your mercy, O oh sinner, come kneel. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can heal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can heal. Lay down your burden. Good morning. morning. Welcome to worship this morning. It's good to be here. Um, I'm Carl Pasha. For those of you who don't know, I'm Carl Pasha. For those of you who do know, (laughs) and uh, I'm a retired pastor. Um, Glad to be here as a member of Shepherd of the Valley now, and want to welcome you here in worship this morning. I want to welcome those who are online worshiping with us this morning, and. God bless us as we worship today. Uh, We have an announcement I'd like to... Connie, at this time, please pray with me. Oh God, we remember with thanksgiving those who have loved and served you on earth, who now rest from their labors, especially Connie McFall. Keep us in union with all your saints and bring us with them to the joyous feast of heaven through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I'm talking about rest today from the uh, Gospel of Matthew, the last part of it. I'm not taking the whole passage that uh, someone's going to read, but uh, I'm going to take that particular part, that, that invitation that Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens. I'll say more about that this morning. So um, rest and uh, Let's ponder that as we sing our our songs and and worship together. Um, We'll have the rest of the announcements later on after the service is over. What else do I need to say? I don't know. Let's worship. Let's stand. Uh, I invite you to stand as we um, share in confession and forgiveness together. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who greets us in this and every season whose word never fails, whose promise is sure. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and our neighbors. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done, by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that by we delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. By water and the Holy Spirit, God gives you a new birth. And through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, God forgives you all your sins. The God of mercy and might strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing as you are able for our opening song. See 
us pray. You are great, O God, and greatly to be praised. You have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Grant that we may believe in you, call upon you, know you, and serve you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated for the reading of the lessons. First reading this morning is from Psalm uh, 14, verses uh, 8 through 14. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises all who are bowed down. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Gospel this morning is from Matthew chapter 11, verses 16 through 19 and 25 through 30. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you. Mics everywhere, and they work too. All right. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're up here today. And um, I have a song I want to share with you, but I have a question for you. First of all, did you know that you're special? You know that you're special. What What makes you special? What What makes you special? Something that makes you special. You're a child of God. Okay. Very cool. How about you? You're a child of God. How about you? What makes you special? Corn. <laughs> what was that? You just said God. God. God makes you special. Well, you are so right. You are so right. And the song I've got to share with you this morning uh, to teach you, and we'll, um, we'll teach uh, some of these older children out here, is a song that I wrote, and it's called You Are Special. 
Okay? And you, it says you are special. You are special. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. God the Father made you. Jesus died for you. You are loved. And that's how it goes. And it goes like this. And maybe you know the tune. You are special. You are special. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. God the Father made you. Jesus died for you. You are loved. You are loved. <laughs> Can you sing that with me now? Do you know that tune? Have you sung it before? It's Are You Sleeping, Brother John. We, Mom probably knows that one, okay? <laughs> Mom, what makes you special? I'm still a child of God. You are still a child of God. All right. Very cool. You are special. You are special. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. God the Father made you. Jesus died for you. You are loved. You know, I heard some older children sing out there too, huh? Okay. So now let's take that another step and say, I am special, huh? Sing, I am special. And we sing it to God and to each other. I am special. I am special. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. God the Father made me. Jesus died for me. I am loved. I am Loved. And then all of us together, we are special, huh? Okay? We are special. We are special. We are special. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. God the Father made us. Jesus died for us. We are loved. We are loved. Very cool. I like that. Now, I wrote that song a long time ago for, I, maybe for the preschool that I worked with at the time at our church, but I don't think that's ever going to make it into the hymn book. <laughs> Unless Shepherd of the Valley makes a hymn book of our own. So, but uh, anyway, that's a song I, I wanted to share with you this morning, and I'm glad you got to sing along, and uh, maybe you can hum it when you're at home and, and uh, helping mom with the dad with the dishes. And, uh, or sweeping the floor or, or uh, whatever you do to help out and, and just think, I am special, I am special. And uh, look at your, I know you've got a sister and uh, you've got, you brothers you can look at each other and say, you are special, you are special. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. God the Father made you. Jesus died for you. You are loved. You are loved. I want to say a prayer, okay? Can we pray? Jesus, thank you so much that you love us so much. Thank you, Father, for making us. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for making these things real in our lives and for giving us voices to sing and, uh, and hearts to write songs and, and sing songs. And, and we, we, love, we love you and we thank you that you love us so much. Help us, Lord, to go through this day and through the days in the week ahead to know that we are special because we are your children. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Go back to your seats. Thank you. that we have around here. Mike's, Mike's help. <coughs> Excuse me. Dear friends in Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I never knew how tired I was until I retired. <laughs> Some of you can relate to that, I know. 38 years of parish active parish ministry as an ordained pastor, 
11 years of minister, youth ministry before that, which is 10 and a half years beyond what it takes to make a normal youth worker crazy. <laughs> Plus add within that mix several years of music ministry, playing guitar and singing songs that I wrote. That adds up to nearly 50 years in ministry. Whew. If I had it to do all over again, with all the joys and accomplishments and hiccups and challenges that were part of those years, I would do it simply because it was God's call on my life. Summer of 1972 was when I sensed that call from God. I was at the altar of my home church, Bethel Lutheran Church of Shoreline in North Seattle. And, and as I was praying, I said, God, I sense that you were calling me into the ministry to serve as a pastor, preach your word. And I'm going to say yes to your call, but I'm going to need your help because I couldn't, I can't even stand up in front of a group of people and talk. Believe it. Well, God honored my prayer. And from that point on, I can point to experience after experience that God used to equip me for the work that he had called me to do. He gave me um, encouragement and assurances from the Bible, like this one from Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage? Be not frightened, neither be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I've gone back to that verse time and time again throughout these 50 years of ministry to find strength and peace and find rest in God's promise. Here's another one that's been a source of strength for me, Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. That verse might sound familiar to you, and I don't know if you know it or not, but that was the inspiration for what we call the National, Lutheran National Anthem, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, that Martin Luther wrote. I've never had to walk this road alone. Besides God's promising to be always with me, he has put people in my life to walk this way with me. Fellow crazy youth directors, Bible school teachers and classmates, seminary professors and classmates, pastors I've worked with, people in the congregations I've served, all have helped to, to contribute in some way to my growing as a leader and a pastor. In the early 1980s, Jean came into my life, courtesy of God's leading. We were married a couple years later, and we've been ministry partners ever since. God added Abigail to our team five years after five years of marriage, Rebecca six years later, and our daughter Rachel, who was born between the two girls and lived 11 minutes, is waiting for us in heaven. And she had an incredible and extensive ministry of her own in the short time that she was with us. Now we await the birth of our first grandchild, grandson, Amari, who's scheduled to show up in mid-September. Ministry partners, I thank the Lord Jesus for these blessings in my life, partners in life and love and service. In a nutshell, there, that's a chunk of my life that I share with you so that you can know who I am, where I've come from, what God's call has been on my life. It's been at times exhilarating, exciting, exasperating, and exhausting, and sometimes all of those at the same time. That's why I said at the beginning I never realized how tired I was until I retired. I'm not done with ministry yet. I'll always be a pastor. I've, I've had friends ask me if I'm still able to do weddings and baptisms, and I tell them, yes, I can still do that. I've enjoyed serving here at, at Shepherd of the Valley, reading lessons and praying prayers along with Jean, playing guitar occasionally with the band. Didn't know when I wrote my sermon that I was going to be doing this this morning. <laughs> Presiding at Holy Communion once when Pastor Henry was ill. Now today, here I am preaching my first sermon on a Sunday worship service in over a year. Thank you for letting me share this time with you this morning. God's call on my life. 
That's what I've been sharing with you this morning. Within, within that overarching call, there have been many calls, many invitations from Jesus, just like the one we have in our gospel lesson this morning. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. That's one call that I can have found particularly relevant to my life in these last 13 months, rest. People asked me what I was going to do when I retired, and I said, rest, relax, and rejuvenate, the three R's. Rest, it's what we all crave, isn't it? It's what we need, yes. And there are so many ways, so many things we do, so much effort we put into finding that often elusive thing called rest. And yet, how do we find real rest? Well, it's right with us today in our lesson. Jesus says, come to me. Jesus calls us today to come to him, and he promises to give us rest. As I was sitting there at the piano listening to Jacob read that lesson, I heard those words. I just sensed that rest come over me. Thank you, God. Do you hear yourself in these words of Jesus? Come to me, all you that are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. I'm guessing we can all find ourselves in there somewhere. Uh, weary? <laughs> you don't have to raise your hand if that's you. Just nod inwardly and nobody else will see, even though they're probably nodding inwardly too. Burdened? That's working overloaded to the point of exhaustion. Yes, moms, we understand. Yes, men, we know. Are you there? These are all things we find ourselves experiencing in many ways and in various situations. If you're not there, just wait. Because life has a way of sneaking up on us. And weary, burdened, those things will happen. But now you know where to turn for rest and relief and peace. In Jesus, the Prince of Peace, rest is peace. That's my sermon title this morning, R.I.P. We normally think of that, a rest in peace. And some of you know that today for Connie McFall. But I am saying in Jesus, the Prince of Peace, rest is peace. It's his gift to us. It's not something that we think we have to try to do to deserve it. It's all grace. It's God's grace at its finest. Just come. Answer his call. Take up his invitation. Trust him to fulfill his promise. Come to me, and I will give you rest. So what's this business about a yoke? Most of us know what a yoke is, right? It's not the middle part of an egg. It's not a story Norwegians tell about Ole and Lena. It's a wooden frame put on two animals like oxen linking them together so that they can together pull heavy loads. So is, are we saying that Jesus is inviting us to lay down the burdens that weigh us down so he can weigh us down with some other burdens, like leaving one set of rules of living for another set of rules to live by? No, not at all. Jesus says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Walk with me. Follow me. Let, let me lead the way. And I will walk with you through the ins and outs of life. It's called discipleship. Following Jesus along the way of life. His way. If you've answered his invitation to come, now stay. Trust. Walk with him. Let him lead and guide you. We can trust him to lead us where he wants us to go because he says, for I'm gentle and humble in heart. And again, he promises, and you will find rest for your souls. And then he finishes with the words, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We kind of scratch our heads and 
wonder about that. But the, the New Living Translation brings that out a, a little clearer. He says, for my yoke is easy, to care, is, is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. In God's grace, rest is peace. Jesus invites us to come to him and find our rest, our peace, our relief from the weariness and burdens of life by walking with him and trusting him to lead us where he wants us to go. You don't have to be retired to experience this rest. You don't have to have your life all put together to experience his peace. You just need to be part of the all that accepts Jesus' invitation. Come to me, all you, and I will give you rest. Chuck Swindoll tells the story of Horatio Spafford, a businessman in Chicago who sent his wife and three daughters to Europe by ship while he remained back in the States, intending to join them later. En route, there was a terrible storm and a shipwreck during which their three daughters drowned. Mrs. Spafford made it to safety and wired back saying, all, our, all of our daughters have been lost. Only I have been saved. So Mr. Spafford took the next vessel out. And as they came near the place where his daughters drowned, the skipper of the ship pointed to the place where the other ship had gone down. And it was there on the deck of the ship he wrote these stirring words. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. In God's grace, rest is peace. May you accept Jesus' invitation today and come to him to find your rest your peace in him. Amen.
join together in the prayers. Confident that God receives our joys and concerns, let us offer our prayers for the church, those in need, and all of creation. God of the covenant, you call ministers to proclaim your gospel of grace throughout the world. Inspire pastors, deacons, church musicians, and all ministers of your word as they carry out your work. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of all creation, you reveal your goodness through all you have made. Rivers and seas, plants and animals, and endangered species. Prosper the work of conservation organizations, botanical gardens, zoos, and wildlife sanctuaries. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of the nations, you desire that all the peoples of the world live in peace. Guide government leaders at all levels, national, state, and local, to work for justice, mercy, and reconciliation. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of compassion, you bring healing to those who are sick, consolation to those who are grieving, and well-being to those who are distraught. Send skilled caregivers to all in need, and make your presence known among all who suffer. Hear us, O God. God of rejoicing, you have brought us together this day to worship around word and sacrament. Encourage children in their learning and growing, and watch over those who are absent today. Lead us all to places of renewal and refreshment. Hear us, O God. Hear now the prayers that we offer, either... We pray also for peace in Palestine, Ukraine, Yemen, Sudan, Iran, and Syria. For all the victims of gun violence, especially those in Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Fort Worth, Salisbury, and Hayward. For students and for higher education professionals as they respond to and adapt to new legislative actions. For police protests in France and for all who advocate for racial justice around the world for safety and relief in areas experiencing extreme heat, for those suffering heavy rains, flooding and heat waves in China and Asia Pacific region, for areas still struggling with compromised air quality due to fires and pollution, for the ongoing effects of climate change and for increased compassion for our earth, and for protection and mercy upon all who travel out of necessity or for pleasure. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is God of faithfulness, through the witness of the faithful departed, you reveal love in action. Embolden us by their example to build up the beloved community in all the contexts we encounter. We especially give you thanks for the life of Connie McFall, who now rests in your loving care. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Into your hands, O God, we commend all for whom we pray, in the name of the one who reconciled all creation to himself, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.
We'll now gather our tithes and offerings for God's continued work in and through this community. Please stand and, as you are able, and join with me in praying the offertory prayer. God of field and forest, sea and sky, you are the giver of all good things. Sustain us with these gifts of your creation and multiply your graciousness in us, that the world may be fed with your love through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. this time we'll share the peace of Christ with each other. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Please share Christ's peace with each other and watch for those who don't want to pass in the ways that you want.
All right, time to settle down and get back to work. <laughs> and rest, rest in him. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, it is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, holy God. You alone are holy. You alone are God. The universe declares your praise beyond the stars, beneath the sea, within each cell, with every breath. We praise you, O oh God. Generations bless your faithfulness through the water, by, day, by night and day, across the wilderness, out of exile into the future. I give you thanks for your dear son at the heart of human life, near to those who suffer, beside the sinner, among the poor, with us now. We thank you, O oh God. The night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup again. He gave thanks to the Father, and he gave it for them to drink. He said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Again, he said, do this in remembrance of me. Remembering his love for us on the way, at the table, and to the end, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has come and Christ has come as an Christ will come again. We pray for the gift of your spirit in our gathering, within this meal, among your people, throughout the world. Blessing, praise, and thanks to you, holy God, through Christ Jesus, by your spirit, in your church, without end. Amen. Amen. Let's join our voices and our hearts together in praying the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All are called... All people are called to Christ's table. Come and eat what is good. Um, we have a setup here where we'll have, um, I'll be holding the, the wafers. We have gluten-free for those who desire them. And um, let's see if I can do this right here without spilling anything. And um, we have a table here with wine. Uh, in the uh, little cups that's uh, colored and uh, grape juice in the little cups for those that are uh, prefer that. And we have um, bowls that you can put your empty cups in. Come now and eat what is good. We'll start out with uh, worshiping, communing the worship team, then we'll start over here and just go um, the way that we've normally done it.
Let us pray. O God, in this Holy Communion, you have welcomed us into your presence, nourished us with words of mercy, and fed us at your table. Amid the cares of this life, strengthen us to love you with all our heart, serve our neighbors with a willing spirit, and honor the earth you have made, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to invite Linnea now to come up and share announcements. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. On behalf of everyone, Pastor Carl, I want to thank you for joining us this morning, sharing your message and your music. Thank you very much. So this morning we do have fellowship back in the back of the church and again there's a sign up sheet uh, please check it see if there's a time that you can bring refreshments and share with everyone um, pastors on vacation this week and so uh, Rachel Kramer is going to be uh, the pastor that we can contact if there is an emergency or if we have a need and her phone number is there it also was in his message that he sent um, with um, I think on Wednesday and then again with the link to the service for this morning you want to share anything about the hops game yes um, one last chance today if you are interested in joining fellowship at a Hillsboro hops game this survey is just to see uh, what most people can attend and then I hope that I will have a date and time next week if you would actually like to join us and we will work on getting tickets thank you So the, the prayer team is meeting next Sunday after service. So if you're interested in joining, sharing prayers with a, with a group, um, that would be the time to start. And then Craig's jam session. So he'll be having that on Saturday, July 22nd. Um, he's not here to ask for details, but I'm sure they'll have some more information for us. Oh, just bring yourselves, your voices, and your instruments. Um, I think he's going to have a great time. I think it's, it's he's something that he's really looking forward to, and I'm hoping everyone can come and share with him. We hope he can come and share. <laughs> what? We hope that he can come and make it and share. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Rainbow Faith Alliance meets here on Sunday, July 23rd from 7 to 8.30. And then on the 28th, we have our fourth blood drive. Um, it says that you can't sign up until July 14th, but I checked this, the website this morning and we already have three people signed up for it. So hopefully we'll be able to sign up before the 14th, but if not, from the 14th on, you'll be able to sign up. It'll be from noon until five again. Um, and share the information. We'll have some flyers. Share the information with your friends, your neighbors, whoever that you can think of that might be interested in giving blood. The donations are down because it's summertime, so it's really important that um, we, we have 28 spaces. It's important that we fill up as many of those as we can. Oh, downstairs, yes. There's a group that have been working very, very hard downstairs getting it ready for the new, um, for the new school year. So the in information is on the back on, the, on that board that shows what's happening downstairs. Um, there's more work to be done, so if you can lend a hand, Reynolds will be sending out messages, I'm sure, but give him a call if there's a time that you'll be able to come in and perhaps they're ready to start doing some painting even. And then out in the narthex, there are two boxes. One is for prayer requests, and one is if you have any songs that you'd like us to be sharing on Sunday morning, uh, let us know that. And if you have any ideas about something that's special you'd like to see during the service, that would be a place to share that information too. Thank you. Anybody else have more announcements? Thank you.
I'm going to see if I can do this because I'm going to. I've got a benediction I want to share with you this morning. I'm going to sing it, and if you know the song, sing it along. I don't want to trip over this bench here. Um, we'll sing. It. I'm going to sing it through twice. So, do we have the words printed at all? As you go on your way. No? <laughs> okay. Nope. Okay. I'll, I'll share it with you then. As you go on your way, may God go with you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he go behind you to encourage you. Beside you to befriend you. Above you to watch over. Within you to give you peace. As you go on your way, may God go with you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he go behind you to encourage you. Beside you to befriend you. Above you to watch over. Son and Spirit, in the name of the Father, Son and Spirit, in the name of the Father, Son and Spirit. Now I invite you to stand as we sing our closing song. Shout to the Lord.
in peace. Share the harvest. Thanks be to God.